This is another brand new application that we are announcing here today. And it is called Keynote. <laughs> Keynote is a presentation app for when your presentation really counts. <laughs> like this one. And Keynote was built for me. I needed an application to build the kind of slideshows that I wanted to show you at these Macworld keynotes. Very graphics intensive. And uh, we built this for me. And now I want to share it with you. Now we hired, we hired a, uh, a low paid beta tester to beta test this app for an entire year. And here he is in the process. <laughs> because secretly, I have used early versions and more mature versions of Keynote to build every one of my Macworld Keynotes in 2002. And I can assure you, it's a great app. So rather than a bunch of slides about slides, let me just show you. <coughs> All right. Let me go ahead and... Uh, Launch a little slideshow here. <clears throat> now, the first thing you'll notice about Keynote is it's got a slide navigator as its primary way to navigate around your slides. And so you can have hundreds and hundreds of slides and work with them very efficiently. Uh, as an example, uh, my slideshow today has almost 500 slides in it. And uh, you can group them here and you expand and collapse the groups, move things around very efficiently, etc. So the first thing I want to show you, and you have outlining as well if you want to outline, but I love this view. The first thing I want to show you is text, graphics, and compositing. So I'm going to start with text, and I can have text of any size I want, and you'll notice that it is fully anti-aliased from the tiniest size up to the biggest size. Okay. Beautiful typography, and I'm going to type amazing in here. And uh, again, I can have this whatever size I want. Just beautiful, beautiful text. Now, next thing I want you to notice, notice this, uh, this line that popped up here. Keynote has alignment guides. And you can turn them on automatically for the center here, so that whenever you're in the center horizontally or vertically, they appear. And you can put them wherever you want. So you can go to a master slide. Of course, you have multiple masters. And you can say, I want an alignment guide right up here, right like that. And now, right here, I have not only an alignment guide in the center vertically, but I have one up here as well. So wherever I am up here, very easy to align things. All right. The next thing I want to do is talk about graphics. This is key. Keynote supports full alpha channel graphics, full quartz graphics. So you notice there's no box around my graphics of white or black, which forces me to use a white or black background for my slide. So I have full alpha channel. I can move things around, of course. The alignment guides, as you see, work on the graphics. I can also resize my graphics, and I get professional quality resizing right from within Keynote. I also get professional quality rotation. Okay? And this is really nice when you start to work with images. But now I'm going to do something else that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to let me rotate this straight on here. Let's see. I'm going to take this butterfly, I'm going to put it on top of the text, and make it a little bit bigger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inspector, which has a whole bunch of ways to control elements in Keynote, and I'll just turn down the opacity. Yeah. Very, very easy. So I can, you know, of course I can send that butterfly to the back or bring it to the front, but I can also change its opacity. Let me go ahead and uh, bring in another element here, bring in a magnifying glass, and uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take that magnifying glass and I will uh, rotate it around this way and uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And you notice there's some opacity in the glass to make it look like glass, right? And here we are, and again, I can, uh, you know, I can be uh, rotating the butterfly in here and everything's on the fly, just like that, right? Full quartz graphic support. And this lets me do things 
like this. It lets me take a slide and do a dissolved transition. You saw a few of these in my slideshow and do very nice things. And Keynote supports about every graphic standard there is. PDF, TIFF, JPEG, you can bring in Adobe Photoshop files, we preserve all the layers, Illustrator files, Flash, you name it, Keynote supports it. Okay. Next, I want to talk about tables and charts. Keynote has built-in tables and charts. So I can build a table just like this. There's a table, and I can say, well, let's see, I think I want uh, you know, four rows and uh, five columns, and I can resize this to whatever size I want, uh, and I think, you know, I just type in some text, and of course I can change the text size, and, uh, you know, let's say uh, west, mid and east, and it's, it's got extremely sophisticated uh, chart management, but let me just show you another cool thing. We ship Keynote with over a hundred images in an image library, and I'm going to go into uh, to one of those libraries now full of objects, and we ship a bunch of fun stuff here, a bunch of road signs and stuff, a bunch of, you know, things like that, a bunch of money, gold we ship, you know, gold bars, and <laughs> chess pieces, and the world, and clocks that you can set the hours on, and stopwatches and tickets and dice if you're doing a business presentation these days and <laughs> justice. But I want this one. I want these hands uh, right here. I'm just going to go grab that and I'm going to put my hands right here and I'm just going to, again, you know, line them up here, maybe uh, stretch them a little bit to fit, uh, send them to the back and uh, maybe go, you know, tone down the opacity a bit. And I can do all sorts of tables this way. Let me just show you uh, a few that I made earlier. You know, I can, I can have tables enter with some pretty cool effects, you know, simple things like that. I can also build by row or column, just literally in a matter of seconds, just uh, tell it what I want it to do, and it'll automatically do all this stuff for me. Here I use these little gold bars. Very, very easy to do all this stuff. And again, put a picture behind them, pretty much anything I want to do. And I also have uh, charts. I just push a button, I get a chart, and uh, I also get a little spreadsheet here with all the data, so I don't have to go to another application. If I want to change this to, uh, whoops, what am I doing here? Change this to 70, boom, you know, I can just change it on the fly. If I want to go to a pie chart, I can just go to a pie chart here. You know, pull out a wedge if I want to. You know, center this thing, let's say. Select something, pull out a wedge, change anything I'd like to. And I can even, uh, you know, put again, interesting effects on how to, you know, bring things in like that. Very easy to do. So that is charts and tables. But now I want to show you something 